So hey YouTube, um, I just wanted to pop on right quick because um, I had a few favorites that I have just really been loving um, that I kind of wanted to speak on and kind of, you know, help you navigate through some of the eyeshadows that are coming out, well, the holiday collections that are coming out. Um, and my advice would be to, if you can, get to your Sephora, Ulta, and actually swatch and play with... Um, the products uh, because I have found that you know people do reviews and stuff and it, it may not work for them and but it may work for you um, and one of the um, palettes that I, one of the sets I'm going to talk about today I actually had thought about not getting it based on you know someone else's opinion but I was actually in the store and got a chance to play with it and I just kind of thought it was a cute idea anyway so um, I'm going to make sure I grab all the stuff I've been loving okay, and I'll the be first right back. product I'm going to talk about is the uh, Grand Hotel Cafe um, set from Too Faced it comes in this box like this and then you get um, this cute little hotel type deal box on the inside, which houses the three palettes. Um, I'm holding the palettes, which is why I didn't open that up. But you just open it up and then it's, uh, it's available. So it comes like this, these three palettes, which I have worn all three of these palettes. And I absolutely love the The one that I have on today is the... Peppermint Mocha. Um, I did like a halo, and I used every uh, I used every shade in here, and I also went in and used the blush on my cheeks today. This is pigmented really well. If you just want a wash of color, but the rest of these, um, like I said, when I went to the store, I swatched everything, um, and I just love the way it all turned out. What you can do, what Too Faced has done with this, is that you can actually gift these. They have to and from on the back. So if you know someone's undertones or, you know, someone who's kind of just getting started into uh, makeup, then this these palettes are really good because to me, they're almost like easy breezy, no fuss, no muss. I wore this eggnog one yesterday and I... It just turned to look. I'm going to try to insert a picture of me wearing this yesterday, but this is the blush from Net Palette. And so, you know, you just blend it out. And look, it just gives you a good wash of color on, on, on my skin. But um, I used every color in here yesterday and for my eye look. And I'm telling you, I really loved it. And for the, um, I was going to say this was a neutral one. But that gold in there is worth this palette <laughs> alone. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Can you guys? Hold on, let me pick that up just a little bit more and they blend out so well i don't know what people were saying about these look at that Ooh, oh yo ah, yes this was really simply gorgeous but anyway if you've been looking for something like a starter and these look what i call easy breezy breezy kits i would call these kits because they have um um now, the only thing that I kind of was like, mm, they don't have a lot of transition shades, but that's okay um, because you don't need a lot. Um, I actually used uh, this gingerbread color right here as uh, the start of my transition shade because it's it's too light to really be a bronzer for me. Okay, you can't see on this side. Let's go. Let's see if we can. See, that's a little light. So, I just use it as a transition shade. Next thing that I've absolutely fallen in love with is the Master Palette by Mario. Um, I don't know, this formula from Anastasia, as you can tell, I've already been using it. Um, I don't know, I just feel like this is a chocolate girl's dream. The the um, Just the warm undertones and the versatility of this palette with the mattes and the shimmers that are in here. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen swatches um and it just doesn't take a lot of work the formula is really really i'm trying to look at that uh the formula really really gives it to you um yeah i don't know what else to say about that if you've been looking i think this is a grown-up palette personally um for the grown-ups to play in such as me mature women um and if i was traveling this is the palette i would travel with i would definitely be taking this with me so you guys know that um, I have been really loving um, this palette because I've done a couple looks on it already. And it is the uh, Metal 
uh, matte palette from Kat Von D. Um, I don't understand. I don't know. These colors, um, what she did in here, this is considered a holiday, but you get all of those shades and the, uh, her um, Metal Crush formula. I don't know. I'm just picking up some stuff so you guys can see how beautiful they pick up. So with these, um, okay, I have no room really left on my arm. So this is unfair, but as you can see with one swipe, how um, how gorgeous those are. Those come off. Um, I know that uh, where did I use? It may have been tinsel. May have been. The only, I don't even think tinsel was, you know what, never mind. I didn't have an issue with any of these colors. If what you can do is something else that I picked up um, that I found was this e.l.f. glitter primer. Um, if any of these shadows you think are going to fall out or anything like that, just take you a little bit of this. Uh, this is a great, great, this is a jewel. This is like two, three dollars. Maybe a dollar. I don't remember. But um, put you a little, um, and I have I did it today for the look because I wanted it to um, really set on my eye. Does not move once you put put this down. Then put whatever kind of shimmer or like this metal crush um, out of here. The um, lay it down, and I'm telling you, your eyeshadow will not move. It had, it it just had. This is a great formula by itself. Most of what I've mentioned today has been really great, just really long lasting on my eyes this whole weekend. Um, I've either rocked this palette or like I said, I have done a look with all three of these. Um, and for the most part, I have gone in with a little bit of this um, glitter primer from e.l.f. and just kind of dabbed it where I wanted to put my shimmer or my uh, metal crush or whatever it has not moved. So if you can get your hands on this, yay. Oh, oh really quick, right I know you guys have seen me using this Kat Von D uh, High Voltage um, Prime and uh, Correct. And this is no lie. This primes and corrects my eyes. Um, it has really changed my eyeshadow game. Uh, I know it's a little light, but what it when you blend this out on your eye, it just to me gives you an even base to start with. And kind of for me because i do have those dark undertones on my eye it just evens everything out i know that looks like but once you start once you set this with either your powder or you know the eyeshadow that you want to start with then this makes such a huge difference okay and so for um since we were talking about primers the primer that i have fallen in love with is the poor professional uh the matte red the invisible finish mattifying gel i don't know why but this just works for me if you've been having an issue i use the makeup for everyone um and it works okay i don't know this just seems to be a little longer wearing at keeping the oils at bay i put this down and then i go in with my tart you guys know how i feel about this tart uh clean slate time to smooth and primer one of my favorites to kind of i don't know if it's because this is so lightweight and then this this just kind of like i push it into my pores and this is creates this great combination that i just really have fallen in so love the last with. thing i'm going to talk about which is the foundation that i'm rocking on my face today um i was pleasantly surprised um this foundation i wore it like saturday and it wore so well it wore all day it really kept my face mattified um i did get um i don't know it didn't make me oily looking or um like when i did sweat it didn't kind of like break apart or do any of those things and the foundation i'm talking about is the milani conceal perfect two-in-one foundation plus concealer I'm in the color chestnut um, I would not use this as a concealer because I have concealers that I absolutely adore already uh, but to use this as a foundation I'm here for it it says it's a medium to full coverage it's lightweight uh, or free and I do agree with that even though it comes off when you first kind of um, and I'm probably gonna do a demo of this um, probably tomorrow when you first put it on it does seem a little thick but i use my uh beauty blender and i pounce it in you don't need a lot of this to get the coverage matter of fact i probably used a pump of this today maybe a pump and a half 
Um, you know, it also says it's long wear, which I do agree with, and water resistant and sweat proof. It didn't break apart on me on Saturday, and I work on Saturday, so I don't. I if you've been looking for a um, a great foundation that you can get your hands on this. I think this was like nine dollars and like ten dollars for this foundation. Um, and when I say I am in love with this foundation, oh my god, I'm in love with it. Great job, Milani. Um, I don't know what about the color selection. I saw only one shade darker than me, I think. Uh, which I almost got there, which I'm glad I didn't because um, you know, it's kind of hard to see in drugstore But um, I did just kind of like what I did was kind of like just put it <laughs> like this in the drugstore To try to see you know, and this actually is a great match for me. I Absolutely adore this foundation and the way it wears and the coverage I don't always have to have that complete coverage, which is why I just did one layer um, I didn't go back in like, you know, you see right here I probably could have gone back in with another layer and kind of just really diffused any uh, anything any blemishes that you may see But I, I didn't really need to do that today. So Milani Yes, if you guys are looking for something a little inexpensive but great works full coverage yes 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 okay so really quick the last two things I'm gonna talk about um, are brushes um, these two brushes I actually got from Ulta and they're a play on the NARS brushes but when I tell you that really once I kind of like feathered it on my hand and tested the NARS these Japanese brushes work extremely well i use this one for my uh bronzer right in here in this area it, this brush is super duper soft and it doesn't allow you to like over deposit if that makes any sense and i use this to really set my powder down for my uh contour um if you're looking for inexpensive uh good bronzing and contour brush i'm going to recommend these two from um the japanese brand which you can get at Ulta and wait for the buy <laughs> buy one get one half off use your coupon use use your money back all of that good stuff these were not that expensive they were of course less cheap I mean they were way cheaper than of course the NARS version but when I tell you I couldn't really tell a big huge difference in the uh, brush the bristles from what you get from with the NARS one just a great great buy great 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 buy all right youtube thank you so much for listening to this chick all day talk about the stuff that she likes if you guys have any questions just let me know um i have a couple other palettes that's coming up that i'm going to be playing with and i can't wait to share those with you um and i think what i'm going to do is go back and refilm these eye looks with um the three palettes that I mentioned earlier only because I these were just remarkable um, as far as what I was able to pull off with them like I'm not an expert so um, I don't know what people are looking for they just they did they performed really really well for me so um, I will see you guys on the next turn and thanks YouTube bye bye